What are the y-intercepts for the f of x function? Where does this cross the y-axis? If you said 0, 0, you are right on. G of x, where does G of x cross? 0, 2, like a scholar, you wrote it as an ordered pair. H of x, where does it cross the y-axis? Okay, now let's get into the trickier questions. The x-intercepts. Nick, this way. What are the x-intercepts for f of x's function? Where does it touch the x-axis? This one should be easy. And the harder question is, is what g of x, what are the x-intercepts for the g of x function? Where does the red graph touch the x-axis? I wouldn't say undefined. G of x. Where does the red function touch the x-axis? I'm hoping you realize, does the red graph ever touch the x-axis? Does that ever touch? So where are the x-intercepts? There are none. None. It doesn't touch. It's a trick question. Don't forget, it, there are none, it doesn't touch. Now h of x on the other hand, h of x on the other hand, there are two x-intercepts. It touches in this spot and this spot. And it would be helpful for you if you wrote uh, the numbers down. How do I write it like a scholar? Four, comma, zero, and negative four, comma, zero. The x is four, the y value is zero. If you forget, you can label it. Nathan. You could. Like, uh, this is what he's asking. Could I write it like this? Sure. They'll split them up, though. They hardly ever write it like that. But we can. Here's the last question. This is the biggest idea that we can get. The answer to 9C and 10C is the whole reason we're doing this worksheet. So let's really make sure we understand what this question is saying. What does the value of k do to y equals the absolute value of x? Here's what it's asking you. Focus, Cade. What it's asking you is, what happens when you add 2 to the graph? What happened to the red graph from the black graph? Do you see it? How many? Now what about this yellow graph from the black graph? How did the yellow graph change with this minus 4? How many? Do you see what this does to the function? It shifts the graph vertically in the same amount of units. For example, if I have plus 2, it shifted it up 2. If this says minus 4, it shifted it down four units and it really matters where that plus two is it's outside of the absolute value because it's outside because the k is outside it shifts the graph vertically k units I want you to put down that this is the same. Meaning, if I have a minus 4, it moved it the same as negative 4. It moved it down 4. 
If I have a plus two, it moved it up two. It's the same as a positive two. Whereas, when we go to do number 10, something different is going to happen. So I'm going to do number 10. I'm going to do it on the graphing calculator for you to see. <coughs> The way uh, 10 is different is the plus 2 is inside the bracket this time. Plus 2. And then I have to do x minus 3 inside the bracket this time. It's going to graph the first one in blue, the second one in red, and the third one in black. First one in blue. That's the absolute value of x. Second one. X minus X minus plus two. <laughs> Let's write those down. Here's F of X. Focus, Nick. <laughs> I'm recording. The G of X function. Is in red. The h of x function, I'm going to do in yellow. And I'll do a dotted line through the yellow so you can see it. What are the y-intercepts for f of x? Where does the f of x touch the y-axis? That's what it's asking. That pin has now died. What are the y-intercepts for f of x? Where does it touch the y-axis at what ordered pair? <coughs> what about for g of x? Where does this touch the y-axis? Use it like a scholar. The x is a 0. If I need to write down the numbers, maybe I should do that first. That might help me out. 1, 2, 3. And I don't see anything below. The x is 0, the y is 2. What about h of x? Wednesday. 10b. What are the x-intercepts for? Where does it cross the x-axis for f of x? Yep. G of x. Negative 2 comma 0 because the x coordinate first, then the y coordinate. That's the red graph. Now the yellow graph. Three. 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 Good. Earlier for 9c, we wrote down that this shifted the graph vertically by k units, but when we have an h and it's inside the function. What does the value of h do to y equals absolute value of x? Look at this plus 2. For the graph, which way did the graph go? No, it didn't go up. 
from this black line to the red line. Where did it go? It shifted. Horizontally. Look at the x coordinate. What value did it go to? It went negative 2 to the left. Is that the same as positive 2? It's the opposite. What about this minus 3? Where did it go? Is that the same? It's the opposite. So when we shift a graph with an H with something inside the function, it shifted horizontally by negative, by negative H units. I know that's hard to understand, but the easiest I can make it for you is this. It's the opposite of whatever this is. If this is plus two, you're shifting it to the left by two. Negative two horizontally. If it's minus three, it shifts it to the right by three, or positive three in the x direction. So this is what it's asking you to do. If you understand that, you should be able to do number 11. Number 11 says, Graph and label f of x is equal to the absolute value of x. Another absolute value of x function. I have done part A. Let's check to see if you understand. What do you have to do to this function to graph g of x, which is absolute value of x minus 2? What will this minus 2 do to that graph? If you know, tell the person you're sitting next to. What will this do? The answer, it will shift the function down by two units. What does that mean? That means you take this. Okay, quiet down. It means you take this and you go down two units. So the next one, we've done part C. What do you have to do to f of x? To graph h of x is equal to the absolute value of x plus 1. This time the plus 1 is inside the parentheses, or inside the brackets. Do you know which way this is going to shift it? If you do know, tell the person you're sitting next to, please. It's going to shift it left by one unit. The big idea, Tommy, the big idea is this. If it's outside, it's the same in the y direction. Negative 2 down. It's the same. If it's inside, it's the opposite in the x direction. And this works for any function. It doesn't matter if it's a quadratic, uh, a linear function. 
a cubic. You're going to get to see some other ones that are a little bit harder on the next worksheet. Where is this going to shift it? Left by one unit. Which is H of X. If you understood everything that I showed you on this worksheet, then you should be able to do the homework worksheet all by yourself. Yeah.